five, main engine ignition, all three engines up and burning. Two, to whom it may concern. One, and lift off. Lift. What is this, some Hollywood liposuction? Lift? <laughs> you know we ain't about all that. Welcome to the Skull and Bone Show. Bow, 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 bow. Welcome to the Skull and Bones Show. We are Skull and Bones Radio. I'm playing air guitar, baby. Skull and Bones Radio. Make sure you check us out on iHeartRadio, Skull and Bones Radio. Make sure you check us out online, SkullandBonesRadio.com. Mick, what are the socials? Hey, man, you got to go to the Facebook. It's the same name, Skull and Bones Radio. You go to the Instagram. It's the same name, Skull and Bones Radio. However... When you go to Twitter, Twitter, and very important, it's a very important. We ran out of characters, <laughs> so you, you, it's still Skull and Bones Radio. However, we only have one L in Skull, so it's S K U L in Bones Radio. All right, we'll, we'll get that fixed. I am Jean Perignon. I'm joined by the handsome Mickey Three Jammersfield. Did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really, really? ridiculously good-looking? Yeah, baby. Yeah, shagadelic, baby. Well, how could I forget? We've got the man with the brains, the man with the wit, the man with the charm. wonder who that is. Matt Man. And his name is... Matt Man 100. <laughs> 100! <laughs> What's going on, guys? How the hell are you? Hey, man, you know, I have to say something, by the way. Who's Buffer? Thank you for that <laughs> intro. You know, this dude, like, this dude would be like 100 out of nowhere. I swear to God, we'll be having guests up in here. He's like, 100? You know who he reminds me of? He reminds me of that Pokemon, like, Pika Pika. Pika Pika. Yeah. Like, you just say that out of nowhere, bro. That's Matt now with the 100. Can, 100! Can I, can I tell a little story real quick? Uh-huh, go ahead. Okay, so my uh, my mom <laughs> asked me what 100 means because she listens. She's like, what is 100? I don't even want to know what 100 means. She thinks it's dirty. <laughs> I'm going to tell you what it is. It's my first email address. In in middle school, when someone wanted to AIM me, it's <laughs> mattman100 at gmail.com, and it's morphed into mattman 100 Well, it's very <laughs> fitting for you. Um, all right, so we've got a very interesting show lined up for everyone. we got some uh, Valentine's Day talk. Uh, we've got some adult talk. We've got some guests you know, coming in the studio. Oh, we've got some juicy stuff we've coming got up. We've very bro. juicy content. Controversial. But without further ado, let's get into the very first segment. I don't know how you could still be depressed. This is probably the best thing that's ever happened to us. Us? Yeah, us. Look, do not get selfish on me here. Okay, now stay with me. You put a bar in over there, mm-hmm. right? A couple yes. lazy boys, yeah. fill it out. You definitely need a smarter couch. You can put a hot tub almost anywhere in this place. Max, can you earmuff it for me? We are going to get so much ass here, it's going to be sick. <laughs> I'm talking like crazy, like boy band ass. That sounds like a lot of fun, but... I need a little time to get my life back together. What we need to do is throw like a big kickoff, like kick-ass party to start Absolutely. things off here. Break it in think? a little, meet the neighbors, <laughs> yeah. right? Come on, Mitch. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. Break it in. <laughs> All right, so here's the deal. Um, that's a, that's a very um, uh, famous, uh, well-known movie, Old School. The reason why we're playing that is because my man Mickey Three here. <laughs> was good. We all know he's a college student right now. He's going to L.A. Film School. In Hollywood, baby. However, knowing Mick, that's not enough. He wants more. So he's looking to get more involved. I don't know. What is it, Mick? You're looking to uh, to go to a party school? Is that what we're looking well, at? Well, hold on a second. Let's not make me look too bad now. <laughs> so basically, I went to the, I've been going to this school called the Los Angeles Film School. I've been studying entertainment business, you know, to be a, maybe one day a talent agent or okay. something to that effect. However, everybody there is just a little too serious. Everybody there is just like so wrapped up in their... I think focus might be a good word. They're very focused. They're too focused, okay. bro. Everybody there wants to be successful and drive Ferraris and wants to be famous and wants to represent famous people. I'm like, bro, I just want to play beer pong. You know what I'm saying? Like, How many times, I swear to God, how many times I try to get a beer pong thing going? You know, maybe a little sleepover. I mean, nobody wanted to crash in my RV at the time, but you know, whatever. So, you know, I'm just like, you know what? Screw this mess, dude. I'm not ready to grow up. So, anyways, I was doing some serious searching, bro. I mean, like, day and night. I was up all through the wee hours of the morning, man. I was sitting there on Google. Top party schools in the United States, baby. And uh, and it turns out Arizona State was on there. Mm-hmm. UT in Texas made the list. I think Mississippi's on there, too. I don't know, man. Who wants to live in Mississippi? They got mosquitoes. That's a good point, but a lot of party schools. So, you know, there was all these different schools, like one in Nebraska or something crazy. And I was like, come on, man. I ain't trying to go out there. <laughs> and, uh, and And guess who made the list? San Diego. San Diego made the list, bro. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> My boy, Jean, I've been crashing with him every now and then. I was like, you know what? This school's just down the street. I know every time I go to your house, 
I've been seeing like what's it I called? I know we're about a we're literally about a mile and a half away from San Diego State. I don't University. even th- I don't even think it's a mile and a half, bro, bro. I went there. You went there? Yeah, hell yeah, I went there. <laughs> I never knew you were an SDSU guy. Are you serious? How long have we been friends? <laughs> I do. I, I don't. Not I, long enough. <laughs> it's literally a pebble's throw away from where I live. Well, you know, it's crazy because, like, I was checking it out. I was like, hold up, man. There's a whole thing here called Sorority Row. Yeah, I've heard and I about was just, that. Oh, man. You was just like, remember the, uh, it was not that long More ago. More so Fraternity Row. No, 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 no. Oh. Sorority Row. Because we, we saw this. Who went to SDSU? Oh, I'm yeah, telling you, bro. Me and, him, me and him went down to the Pancho Villa <laughs> burrito joint, and there was, like, freaking flocks of girls. There, yes, there are, and there are different sororities there, but fraternity rows where all the apartments are lined up and you have the parties at, because you don't have parties at don't sororities. Don't be bursting my bubble, man. Hold on, hold um, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold I'm on. I'm telling you. Looking for revenge. <laughs> oh. He uses that a lot. <laughs> I will say this, though. I've been, I've obviously, like I said, I live right up the road from it, from San Diego State, and driving there on like a Friday, Saturday night, whoo-wee. They're everywhere. You'll mess around and get some trouble over there, man. Oh, my God. It's just like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like you go duck hunting, and they just like, you, you, you shoot a bullet, and they, they all go flying. It's like, they're everywhere. You can't escape it. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I see the house parties <laughs> going on. I hear about them, but I don't know if I could actually go to one of those. Well, yeah, well... Hold off on that one. So I did have a couple questions for you guys, including you, Matt Man, back there behind the board. So <clears throat> I've been wondering. Hondo. <laughs> top, top, pika, pika, right? <laughs> At what age is too old to join a frat in college? And the reason I ask this is because apparently in order to get in the sororities, you need to be in a frat. So how old like, what, How old's too well, old to be in, I, in a frat, Matt? Matt? How old's too old? Yeah. Dude. I think if you're like above 25, 26, 27, you're just going to get annoyed because the people in there, and it's kind of like the military being enlisted, right? You have people in there that are 18, 19, you know, that Mm. are buying me alcohol. Like their priorities are totally different. And you're like, these these kids are so stupid. Like unless you have fun getting 18-year-olds drunk when you're 30 years old. Does that make sense? Like that's the culture. I feel like you're calling me out over here. No. I feel like I'm being called out. Brett, (laughs) Brett, you're... You're thir- you know, look, you've already been in the military, you've served our country, do you want to go back to doing the elephant walk or whatever nasty things they make you do to be inducted into this? I'll thing- tell you what I don't want to do, bro. I don't want to have a 9 to 5. I don't want to have a serious career where I have to like please my boss and stuff. So you would rather have 23-year-olds, because that's really oh, how old God. they get. 23-year-olds boss you around like you are a nobody. Hold on, man. No, no, no. I'm not in to be boss around. I'm in it for the parties. That's what I'm trying to tell okay, you. Okay, you know but, how you get into a fraternity, though, right? You, yeah, that was your question, is how old is too, too old to be in a frat? Hey, man, I'm just going to let them believe I'm a rock star, and I'm sure they're just going to let me slide. I'm, I'm oh, yeah, not too... That's not the least Google. of my worries. What's your name? Well, Mickey Three Jammers feel. <laughs> Why I can't find you on no Google? <laughs> <laughs> they can, baby. I've been, I've been, somehow I've been getting that traction. You Google my name, I pop up. My SEO is insane. <laughs> Search engine optimization, I think. Yeah, dude, I'm, I come up as a failed rock star, but a rock star nonetheless. All right, so back to mixed question though, Matt. How old do you think is too old to be in a frat? Yeah, dude. I think it's all mindset because for me, if 24, to- 25, because the leaders are younger than you and I don't want to hang out with 18 year olds. So 20, 23, 25 is. Because you got to understand, you're you're with these younger kids. Yeah. Okay. But so some people are fine being 35 and buying beer for 18 year olds. Not me. So if you were if you were in a frat, would you let Jean and I in? <laughs> you're, you're my friend, so I would. But that's like a sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what if we weren't friends? What if we didn't know each other? Dude, it just depends on the frat. You have like SAE is one of them, which is just a bunch of tools. Sorry, I had I had people I knew in them and. It yes, they they were pretty toolish. I don't know. I don't know anything about names or but but ones. it just depends on the culture, baby. Like it depends on every fraternity. It's, it's so they're all different. What answer. you're saying, they're all they all have their own vibe, is what you're saying. Yes. You know what we should have done? We should have got our friend Ray Ray in here in the studio because he was in a fraternity oh, back in uh, where is he at? In, he's in P- Carolina. Well, yeah, yeah, he was in college in Carolina, and but he, you know, he, he lives. He, in he gave us all the scoop, like all the dues and the premier is like a big old piggy bank that goes. You know, it's. Really interesting stuff, yeah, but we should have him come in. I wonder if he still lives here. Yeah, for me, you got his number. We'll call him right now. Oh, we could. <laughs> hey, yeah, let me give you his number. Let's see if he I, answers. I think uh, for me, the cutoff age would be probably maybe twenty seven. Twenty seven seems like that number where you maybe you're too old to be starting. Or no, yeah, no. Whoa, whoa, twenty seven. I can't join it. Twenty seven is the last year. I can't. Twenty seven is the last year. You could maybe twenty six. I'm gonna say twenty six. Twenty six. 
put it back at 27. That way I have a shot. <laughs> <laughs> I think, you know, once you're 18 to 23, you're in that prime. And then anything after that, you're kind of really pushing it. And then you just, yeah, you, you plateau. You, you're too old. Man, that's some BS. Well, turns out I don't have Ray Ray's number anymore in my phone. But if you have it, you can pitch it over to, to Matt Man. All right, so I got a question number two. If I'm too old, apparently, to join a frat, are we too old, John and I, are we too old to try and go to college parties? Okay. Mr. Matt Man that went to SDSU. I see how you spun that. I, I like how I'm like the expert here. Like I didn't really I partied freshman year and senior year, and when I worked for the police department, I was hell scared. I remember once I had a shift. Uh sorry, I know I'm getting off topic real quick, but I had a shift <laughs> at like midnight because I worked the uh, overnights and I went to a frat party, but I I didn't drink. I would not dare I would not dare drink. But some girl's like, take a shot with me. So I poured water in mine and gave her the vodka. <laughs> no. I'm like, oh, my God, we're having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, you really? Yeah, I'm, I'm a dog. Uh, but what, what was the goal? Oh, going to college parties. Dude, I'm just telling you. Are you we too old go- to go to a college party? They're going to question you. They're going to be like, oh, well, Not me. do you even go here? <laughs> yeah, you got that, <laughs> that young appeal. But do you want to hang out with 18-year-olds? Yes, especially if they're drunk. Uh, Have you heard no, okay, of like... Okay, 21. Let's make it 21. 21. You know, 21, 21, 21. You know being l- ladies that are drunk is not giving consent, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, what... Uh, that's where you were going with this or you were not? I, John probably was. I just want to hang out and be around good people and a okay, good vibe. Okay. I, I don't know, man. It depends. If you have a buddy in the frat, they're going to let you in. But I don't know anybody's in any frat. That's my problem. It's going to be well, hard. They're not. You have to know somebody to get into these things. It's very, Man. it's very inclusive. We should have played that bit from uh, old uh, American Pie, when they're like, "Yeah, now we're just old school at the party," you know. For me, I feel like I would go to a college party. Oh, that was American Pie, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah okay, I would go to a college party, but as Matt mentioned, like I, I've had you know these experiences when I was young. You know, I was eighteen. I was in the military. I was sure. overseas. I came but that back. Ain't college, baby. But my point is, I'm always going to have that kind of. I feel like that ma- kind of mature mindset where, like, you know, maybe I'm just kind of uh, a little bit more like a step ahead. Is that the right way to put it? Sure. No. I okay. I agree with you on that. Okay. Go ahead. It's like for me, it's like yeah. These these are kind of more uh, immature kids. I feel like for me, I'm too old to go to some college parties. Okay. Perfect example. It's always going to be in the back of my head. Perfect example is Michael Jackson. That dude was, I don't know how, 40s, 50s, however it was. And the dude had his own Neverland. And he played with kids. Not that I'm saying I want to go that low, but I'm just, I'm not trying to hang out with people 20 years younger than me. I'm just trying to hang out with people, you know, three, four, five, maybe five years younger than me at a college party. Mm-hmm. Doing- look, 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 dude. The, the college <laughs> parties were fun while they lasted, but as soon as you I get never the- got them. I never I'm got them. I'm trying to tell you some logic here, Mick. The college parties are fun when you're a freshman or a sophomore, but uh-huh. as soon as you have your own place, you're throwing house parties. Because frat parties, are there's very little alcohol there. Because if there was more, all the girls would be in a bad shape. Literally, <laughs> they, they water down drinks on purpose because people can't handle their alcohol. Oh, wow. It's very mess. It, it's very d- dingy and like almost like a jail in there. You know, the, the rooms are a mess. I'm surprised girls sleep with guys in those things. Like, <laughs> it, it's 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 not that enjoyable. Now I get you want to go. I'll th- we can go, dude. I probably have an old contact. There you go. That's all you're you, willing you to take me. That. Yeah, but uh, I'm gonna have the worst time of my life. It's gonna be some eighteen. Uh, okay, teeny well, boppers, that's fine. Like. You, you can you can suffer for one night to make sure John and I have a good time. Hey, so I, I got I, would go. I, I got one last question here. Then all right. So before before I go into this one, <clears throat> so it's you probably asking yourself about this point. Well, Mick, you're leaving the L.A. film school. What are you going to study when you go to this new AKA party school, right? I'm sure you guys have probably thought about that already. (laughs) Well, let me tell you something. I just found out something not too long ago. So I'm almost done with this L.A. film school, and I will have a bachelor's degree in entertainment business. But I just found this out. Check this out, dog. I can grow up later on, but we'll leave that for later, and I can party in in the meantime. You can actually become a doctor. A doctor of physical therapy by doing this two year program at this school. So guess what that means? I get to, I get two I get God I, I do believe in a God. God's given me a, a a chance to go be a college student in a real party school for two years. And by the time I'm done partying and being done with the school, I'll be a doctor, bro. What you guys think? So, uh, I feel like your 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 mindset is very what's it's convoluted. Like you're very. So you want to go to school for two years and be a doctor of physical therapy for no more than to go to these parties. Exactly. You will be so disappointed when you get to the frat party. No, dude. I'm telling you, there's always been a lot of chicks in the medical field. I'm telling you. So my question for you is, what about if you're a college student in your 30s 
can you go, will it be awkward hanging out with like twenty you know twenty something year old college? Guys? When's the last time you <laughs> hung out with someone that was under twenty one? You know what? I thought it was you, but I'm 24. I'm awesome. <laughs> you are awesome, Maddie. Bro, hey, sometimes I'll make you a deal, Mick. I will. Go-